for howdy, 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 everybody. Teresa here with Bradley and the critters. Angel is all curled up in the sunbeam coming out the front door, don't you know? I don't know where the pups are. They're around here somewhere. Charlie's probably behind my chair. Probably, and Nixie's probably on one of our beds watching yeah. out. But I don't have the blinds open in that room yet, so yeah. got the blinds open here naturally, as you can tell. Um, it is April 16, 2021, Friday, and um, you could tell it because the drivers all get out their their a-hole carts <laughs> on a Friday. Lord, Lord have mercy. But, um, so we just got back from running some errands and stuff. We didn't make a video yesterday. Uh, Brad decided he did not want to go see the primary care doctor about his diabetes because he does not like that primary care doctor. It's my old one and his old one. So now he switched over to my new primary care doctor. And I think he'll like her a lot better. And he'll see her next week. So it's no, no biggie. So uh, you got to... You know, I feel like doctors are like trying on clothes. You're going to have a good fit, and you're going to have one that doesn't fit. So, you know, it doesn't mean that that doctor maybe isn't a good enough doctor. But if you don't have a good rapport with them, how can you talk to them about some of your most personal issues of your body? You know, I mean, really. Men and women, especially if we get older, we get all kinds of lovely tests that they want to do. You know. They want to test everything. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, so he switched. And then t we made a big boo I thought my appointment with my cardiologist was at 9 o'clock. And it even said on the sheet that, you know, four hours. I'm going to look at my sheet, though. It doesn't say what time the appointment was. Probably somewhere there. I would give you the big summaries. But um, evidently it wasn't at 9 o'clock. It was at 8.30 and I was supposed to go to the lab at that day and get blood work done beforehand and make sure that I brought a lunch and something to do because they might run IV Lasix on me. So I got there. Yeah, we woke up late. We have become some really... Blankety blank, blank blank, irresponsible people, man. Because you know you would never know that we both have worked and stuff. Because you think we could get up with two alarms going off on our phone? Oh heck no, right, hun? Yeah. No, it's not well, gonna happen. His alarm goes off. My alarm goes off. Mine's got this loud, obnoxious cuckoo clock, which you just want to punch in the throat. Uh, you know, and. We talked for a few minutes, and evidently, and we fell back to sleep. Woke up at 10 till 8. But I was like, oh, yeah, we'll be out of here in the next 10 minutes. We'll be okay. And I'm like, look at it, and I'm like, are you talking about us? We don't just get to jump out and put on clothes and run out the door anymore. You got to take your blood sugar. You got to take your insulin. You got to eat something so you can take your day pills so you might be able to function. Then... You got to work on getting dressed and all of that fun stuff. I got to help him with some of his stuff. He's got to help me with some of mine. He always got to help me with my bra because I can't pull the back of it down with my shoulders. So, um, yeah. You know, and I got to bandage his toe, put on his uh, sock. The week before they were making him wear a compression stocking all the time, this week the nurse was like, oh, nah. And I'm like, yes, because Brad hates the super tight compression stocking really is painful once you take it off because then all of your nerve endings and blood are like, hey, let's party now. Huh. You know, the road is now open again. So I tried wearing some of those. I'm just like, no, no, I can't. Now my grandfather always did and stuff. It was religiously, man. I do not know how that man did it. But, um, so yeah, so I go in next Friday. They wanted to see me Monday. I couldn't do Monday because we're going to get our COVID shots in the morning and in the afternoon, Brad's got wound care already. And it's like, can't do that. So we're going to do it, um, Friday, you know, which is good. 
gives me more time to get more of this water weight off. I have to weigh in every morning and record my weight. It's slowly coming down, um, you know. I'm down about 10 pounds since, you know, when I went in. So that's good. Uh, so we decided we were going to go to McDonald's because you can get any size soft drink for a buck, right? And we love that. And I got, I did get an iced coffee, just a plain one, because I didn't want all the carbs and stuff that would come with, like, a Frappuccino and stuff loaded <coughs> with sugar, you know. So I got one of these and asked for some artificial sweetener. Uh, and we each decided to splurge on apple fritters, and they were not good. I took a couple of bites of mine, and then I'm like, mm, no, because it just was not, I don't know. They were just way too sugary, and they weren't, I don't know. I'm used to, we got spoiled when Crawfordville, they had a fabulous bakery there. And uh, and I hadn't had anything like that since before June but of last year, but no, no thank you. These don't really taste like any coffee. There was like some caramel in the bottom. But anyway, then we had to go to UPS. We had a bunch of returns. We had like a fire stick and I had a um, a diamond painting that I decided I didn't want to do. Didn't like it. And um, but I had bought these light socket things and they're supposed to said they were supposed to work with, with the Alex and they don't. So return those and then there was one other thing I can't remember that we returned. So uh, the chains and stuff that they misordered and they sent wrong order and all of that. I just wanted one. I didn't want to have to plane all that. <laughs> so, um, sorry. That's okay. okay. It was, they shipped the wrong thing here and so they wanted bread to return it. Um, and then. Got my live plants in yesterday. Most of them I got in my uh, one four pack of tomatoes. These are all the Bonnie plants. I'm sure you know the name if you are a gardener or anything. They have them at um, Walmart. Uh, so I got the Bonnie plants and I got two. I got the yellow peppers and the red peppers. And then I have a bug repellent thing. And it's sweet basil, rosemary, mint. And lemon balm. So that'll be nice. My strawberries on back order. I hope they're not not going to be here. That would really stink. And then we went to Food Lion. And got some stuff that was on sale. Some stuff just to kind of tie us over. You know, like milk and sour cream. And, and uh, that's pop on sale. They had two liters of like Diet Coke and Diet Dr. Pepper, both of which we really like, um, on sale. So we got uh, six of each of those. I also had a coupon that I got to use on that. Um, Cause if you uh, sign up for the MVP card, it's like it's much like um, a Kroger store. And I really liked it. I liked going into Food Lion, and it was actually just a grocery store. And they had a really nice um, produce section. Really nice. And um, I really enjoyed that, didn't you? I did. I mean, the, their produce section was really small, but it was um, very, very well stocked. Very well stocked and, well and, and a nice variety, too. They even had these giant aloe vera leaves. It was like, holy moly. We had that itch right here. so bad. Oh. What would you do with those? I well, I don't know. Well, I know what you do with them. Usually, use them on sunburns and stuff. But uh -huh. I don't know what else. Yeah. Anybody else know? So, um, yesterday also yesterday morning, I think. What well, I did a video yesterday. I remember showing them my nails. You did. I just had a couple pop off, and then like told Brad, like grab it. <laughs> so, um. They had some good prices, and they had some stuff that was a little too high. No store is going to be perfect, but I definitely would like to go there to buy our meat and to buy um, our produce because, okay, I could get 
grapes for cheaper at Walmart. Okay. Probably about 50 cents when I looked at their ad. But if they're inedible and they and we don't eat them, it makes no difference. You know? Uh -huh. I'd rather pay a little bit more and have them be good produce, like good bananas and stuff, than the bananas that go from green to instantly brown. There's no in between. I mean, I sit here and I crave fruit because, you know, so we've got some produce. Um, not a whole lot, but just some. And like I said, some fresh stuff. Um, I think we, we did a good deal. We're going to make our version of nachos for lunch. Um, that'll be nice. Did you get out a thing of hamburger? I did. Okay. Um, and just kind of relax. Tomorrow we'll be planting those plants. Um, definitely. I've been getting, I've been doing better on the housework. Um, I do most of that now. Um, Brad is having more mobility problems. It's just the way it is. And... He's coming to terms with that, which is hard. Right, honey? And sometimes he wants to give up, and I kind of kick him in the butt and tell him, no, you won't. Right? Yeah. It's hard. I know it is. He thought not too long ago he wouldn't be able to do any more woodworking. And it's like, you know, if you got the stuff measured out, I will come and hold stuff. You know, I'll do whatever you need me to do out there as far as helping cut stuff and, and all of that. You, I mean, if he gets a bunch of projects where he's he's doing all the measurements, he's he's ready to cut it all. We'll all we'll run all that wood, and then we'll bring it all in. You know, you you will still be doing the woodworking. I won't let you give up on that. Right. Okay. You know, could you not keep eating the grapes and like you could bring me a banana? That would be nice. It's not really fair that you're out there in the kitchen. <laughs> you see, out there eating, I might be a little hungry. I'll look at our hats. We stopped there. They were having um, an outreach program for homeless veterans. So we each bought a hat to help contribute. And because, uh, you know, I know there are a lot of homeless vets that, you know, and some vets that aren't getting all of the uh, care that they need, the aftercare. And we want to support that. So um, what else, hon? Well, that's, I mean, that's what I told you. I mean, there's been so many people that have been. That have helped us. us. Yeah. And I figure it's the least we uh, can do to where, where we can help somebody else. Uh, yeah. I mean, a couple of days ago, we didn't have enough money for, for even a tank of gas. And, and, you know, two of our friends helped out. And we're so blessed with that. Um, so we like to pay it forward. Um, it's just like the grocery today. Because. We didn't know it, but Brad just, you know, he finally got in disability. But, you know, we're still very cautious on what we spend. Yeah. Do you have to go out and get more stuff? Probably. Yeah. Probably all the pop. Yeah. I think that's all that's left. Yeah. Um, I'm just sick of you and eat a banana. Okay, yeah. They look like they were good bananas. Uh -huh. They are. Uh I mean, no, I haven't eaten one yet. Uh huh. Uh huh. See how he is? Fine. So, um, it's a beautiful day out. What can I say about that? I'll do the weather. Um, I'm doing little knitting. I'm being good. And I have tried Peak Solitaire, okay? You guys, if you guys have not played it, this is what it is. It is so fun. I have like 95,000 points right now. I got Brad hooked on it, too. Because <laughs> I'm that way, you know. I love my game. I do. I play a lot of games on here. Um, uh, we're going to play, before I do the weather, we're going to play a little bit of hardball with Verizon. Because, see, we've been with them for 20 years. They're the only cell phone carrier we've ever had. Now, in other states, they have 55 and over program for people. Well, it says you have to you know, kind of let them know in your state. Well, I want some of the same benefits, and I want the same prices. 
And why are we not getting more of a special? Because we've been with you for 20 years. You've never had to even threaten to cut off our cell phone. You know, we've been late with a payment one time by a few days, and we had called you about it, and you laughed because we've been with you for so long. I said, oh, well, that's no problem. But we can't get any of the specials unless we're a new customer. You're still going to charge us an activation fee? I don't think so. You need to waive the activation fee, and you need to give us a 55 and over special program, even though we don't live in Florida now. So we're going to play, kind of play hardball with them because, you know, they want to sign up for these new phones and stuff. Well, if you give us special deal, you know, some, some it said on there that, you know, you need to just kind of really kind of, you know, negotiate. There you go. Negotiate that with is them. Nice turn of a Yeah. So um, Brad is great at that. <laughs> So he will negotiate. <laughs> We're supposed to call back tonight. Definitely. Yep. You know? So, yeah. That'll be nice because I want a good deal. I don't want to be paying. I don't want to pay an activation fee. I shouldn't have to pay an activation fee. I've been with you guys forever. You know, activate that. <laughs> you know, you're not having to activate a brand new line. Or anything. I mean, we've had the same phone number the entire time. Yep. Yeah. Like somebody will say, oh, have your phone number because, you know, I don't have it. Is it still the same? It's like, yeah. Uh-huh. Been the same for a very long time. Yeah, we've never changed it. It's always been the same. Well, and when we moved to Florida... You know, we opted to carry our, just stick with our phone numbers. Yeah. So a lot of people are like, 307, because yeah. that's the area code. Where is that from? Wyoming. Wyoming, where they still were getting snow last night. We watched the Mills family. Oh, yeah. He's, a, about that. he's a single father with nine kids. His wife passed away a couple years ago suddenly. Cancer. One of those very, very aggressive breast cancers. And by the time that they were looking at it, stuff it had metastasized pretty much throughout her body. And they live up in Moorcroft, Wyoming. And so we watched them, you know, because, like, the youngest is, like, almost three. And then Thomas is the oldest, and I think he's almost 20. So, but, you know... He got his hands full, but they would get snow last night. And those flakes were huge. Brad still has started his pellet greenhouse. I'll get that either today or tomorrow. Tomorrow I'm planting outside. Okay. Well, I gotta get. I gotta start soaking the bamboo seed. And I will show you tomorrow before I plant. They have a really cool clamshell on these plants. It's really neat how they shipped them. Um, and I'll do the weather here in a minute. I gotta eat my banana. This is a lot better than, a lot more flavorful than the ones at Walmart. Yep. Walmart and Amazon act like they're the only game in town. And I think we all need to kind of start looking around enough. We're not going to have any other stores than these two. You know, Amazon, when Amazon wants to start doing real estate now. Oh, did they? Yes. Holy crap. Yeah. I did not know that. Yep. I think they are. Is my beverage over there in front Yes, of it is. Thank you. Let me see. Let's see what departments there are. Hmm. Not by department. See. Oh. You know, and they have all the, uh, um, now they're doing vehicles now. Really? 
Mm-hmm. I'm trying to see. I thought I saw what they were doing. Um, maybe that was something else. Maybe that was Walmart. I don't know. One of those two started doing... Started... We're going to start doing real estate. You know... Yeah, they're selling vehicles. Pretty soon, they're not going to have any other stores. I mean, our McDonald's here has an open any time of the day for um, uh, applications, and they're starting out 10 bucks an hour. That's amazing. Wow. I know some of the McDonald's and Hardy, like where we were at in Florida, they uh, closed their lobby because they don't have any help. I just think it's crazy. All right, let's do the weather. I'll let you guys go. Why does it have that? They don't even live there. There we go. 62 degrees. Feels a lot warmer than that to me. Feels like 62. High would be 68 today. Low would be 44. Let's see. 32% humidity. Wind is 1 mile an hour. Sunrise was at 6.37 a.m. Sunset will be at 7.46 p.m. And tomorrow it's going to be Mostly cloudy, 68 degrees for the high, lower 49. Oh, that'll be nice. Not going to be bad. Oh, low chance of rain during the night. Yes, I'm just checking to make sure that we're not going to get any real cold. Now. No. So, anyway, that's what we got going on here. We're just kind of chilling out and stuff. You know, perhaps bringing in groceries. And we don't drink as much pop as we were. I drink mainly iced tea. I drink mainly iced tea. Don't I, honey? Mm -hmm. I, yeah. have a, I have a coffee in the morning, and then the rest of the time it's iced tea, you know. Because I don't like to pop when it goes flat, and if I have a bigger, bigger thing of it. But I like to fill up a great big water bottle with, you know, all of our... Uh, Whatever we want to drink. Oh, I'm going to need your pill thing, too. I need to do our pill thing. Okay. That's why this is all scattered out. Because I had to look for my pill in the bedroom. I'm like, holy, your bag is still in the back, I think. No, it's on the freezer. Oh, okay. Well, I'll dig it out then. Yeah. I think your pills are in it, probably. Yeah. Okay. But, um, you have that? anything? I know. Isn't it nice? I like it. Nice. I like it. You can't go wrong with that. Uh -huh. you, you know, know and, and like I said, I just... You know, I love supporting causes like that. I do, too. Yeah. We had that one, which was that one that, where they were uh, biking. Go, it was Soldiers Across America or Some, so, yeah, something was, like that. Uh, it was part of the Wounded Warrior Project. Wounded Warrior Project, yes. Yeah, and, and we got the lucky thing that one of the bicyclists stayed in the RV park. And he came over and talked to us. He even took pictures with us and stuff we wanted to have pictures of it, and we talked for a long time. He was a yeah. very nice gentleman. He was from uh, Washington. Yeah. Washington State, and he had ridden his bike all the way down Can to Florida. Can you imagine? And uh, Holy uh, moly. Yes. Yeah. But, yeah, just amazing, amazing mm -hmm. man. Yep. Yep. Really loved it. That was a cool thing. Yeah. You know, and he wanted to sit and talk with us. I know. I'm like, what? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, very, very amazing. Mm-hmm. So, but yeah, it's a nice day. I don't know. I feel very kind of chill and relaxed today. You gotta, don't forget that bag and those water bottles in the back of the Jeep. I've got it on the, okay. the rollator. But, um, yeah, I just feel very relaxed stuff today. I just kind of chilled out. We've kind of had enough of the medical stuff. I tell <laughs> you what, though, we're tired of it. Yeah. 
you know. And I think I put that in the book wrong because I put, I think I might have written that in on the 21st <coughs> instead of the 22nd one. Oh. Let's see. No, I wrote it on the 22nd, which is Thursday. And then Friday, I got to go to the cardiologist again. At 8.30. I want to put 8.30, dumb ass. <laughs> well, my geez. I can't believe, you know, I just, I can't get that straight in my head. You yeah, know. when we were, uh, when we were leaving, um, we went to take Teresa to the doctor. Did you already tell them about, about, we were late and we ended up rescheduling. Yeah. And uh, we had to come and get some stuff we needed to return. And uh, our neighbor, Diesel, uh, he, he was outside and came over and talked to us. And you know what? He is such, he is such a neat man. We you love know? him. Yeah. We you do. Know? We really love him. He does our yard. You know, we pay him. But he does our yard. And But he just, like every week, he always brings our garbage can back. I think... How many times have you even gotten a chance to bring the garbage can oh, back? Once or twice. Maybe. Yeah, I mean, because he's always every week right there. He always kind of keeps an eye on us. He's just a super nice guy. I mean, you know, we're really blessed to have him. Yeah. And our other neighbor, Mary, stopped by the other day with a twenty dollar fetch off ticket. She just wanted to help out. That was nice. We should have taken that today. Yeah. We'll take it next week. Yeah. yeah, but yeah, that's what that's what's amazing. Is we've got so many very cool right. neighbors, and you know, and, and they're what keeps us going. Because man, it's a whole, it's a cold, hard world out there. I mean, yeah. we all know that. And as you age, you don't really, you find that you don't really fit in the dynamics of the thirty, forty crowd anymore. You're moving slower. You're hurting more. And people kind of That's like, get it. the hell out of your way. I don't know how many times Brad had where he's standing in line and somebody cuts in line repeatedly. Yeah. Sam's Club, when he bought the TV, still had to stand in line with his receipt. I don't know why they didn't just take him over there. They had the associate staying there with the TV. You know, and, but how many people cut in line? Yeah, three or four. Yeah, and it's just like, I would never dream of doing that. Yeah. If somebody was struggling, I'm like, here, you know, let me help you. You know, I would never do. Yeah, I was, yeah, I was trying to keep up, but, you know, people were walking fast enough, and I was pushing the rollator, and, mm -hmm. you know, I just, I did the best I could, but. They got to start running people. Okay? Yeah. Because people don't care. Some yeah. people don't care. There's some great people out there. There's some other people that are like, get out, get the hell out of the way, old man. Is their attitude, and it's like, really? Yep. Come here while I beat your head in. <laughs> you know, here, you wait for it. Did you hear Brad say something right now? Your anger is scaring me. There you go. <laughs> so I'm like, I'm going to beat somebody's head. I'm like, we'll be, he'll be driving. I'm like, pull up here. I'm going to jump out and beat them up. I'm not going to, but I would like to because if they're riding our butt, and your headlight now is shining out of my throat. It's like, could you back up some? You know? And then do you really need to share all your music with me? Because that song is so yesterday. And I just, you know, I just want to always do the song about, you know, you know, what you doing? Where you at? I'm sipping wine in my robe. I look too good to be alone. My house is clean. My pool is warm. Just shaved. Just like a newborn. We should be dancing. We should be romancing. Okay, I'm done now. Wow. That's all you hear on TikTok. The other night, I was playing it, and I heard it 13 times, almost in a row. Different people doing it, but, yeah. Everybody. I'm thinking about putting Charlie in a robe, and... and would you want to be in it? I could be you, Nixie. Oh, yes, girlfriend. You could we'll put you in a robe, get you a glass of wine. It looks like wine. We don't want to have a doggy drink, and that would not Ooh. be good. And, but, and we'll just do the song, okay? But years ago, uh, somebody had, 
I don't remember if they cut me off or, or and, uh, you know, I said, um, uh, I said basically, darn you, jerk, don't do that. It's oh, you did not say close, it like that. Oh, close, bull honky. No way. what I said. Uh-uh. And Teresa, her eyes got big and she said, told me my anger is scary. Her. Well, it was, man. We were on the interstate, and this was back when he was selling cars, so he went on a lot of test drives. Now, the man had already been terrified by some people test driving vehicles. Sometimes he had to tell them to slow down or stop or whatever because they were just being insane. So, I mean, but he's driving pretty aggressively for you, and somebody cut him off, and he, that he did not say darn you. You can guess what he said. And I'm like, whoa. Shucky darn. Maybe that Because I had not heard him get so angry before. And then he was on the whole tirade about the blinkers. Don't ask Brad Heidi about blinkers. Please don't. Because nobody asked him to comment because then we're going to hear it. We're going to hear it. Yeah. No. No. These, these people no! that don't no! realize what that darn clicky thing is. They went for the radio instead of the blinker, I yeah. tell you this. They're sharing their radio with us. Yeah. Instead of... Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, when they picked options on the car, they did not flip, pick, click. Click? They did not pick the turn signal indicator. Okay. Officially old people now. You know this? Yeah. Before well, you go back outside, will you make more of this and doctor it up? It's really sad. Well, one more thing. Yes. Is I purpose I purposely if somebody is riding our tail, I purposely slow down to below the speed limit just to irritate the heck out of them. Then what I like to do when they go around us finally is and they'll look, you know, and they want to give you the mean face. And I just smile at him and wave. Because, you know, I'm like a sweet little old grandma. I'm like, hi. Hi. Anybody want to see the skunk stripe? I know you do. ta -da. Yeah. It's there still. Still got the hook on the back. Do I really? Oh, good. With, with the price tag. I took yours off. I know. I did not take mine off. I can't have a hooker on the back. I'm not good. Don't be a hooker. I can't carry in the rest of the groceries or what, man? I thought you wanted me to dock your coffee first. Please. Okay. I need to have some kind of real coffee. This is just caramel, slightly caramel flavored. Yeah. Let me see what I can do to fix this. Okay, naughty. We bought more cold medicine, too. Does him need it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I wasn't going to tell the doctor that. Oh, heck no. Heck no. That's what you meant to say. Heck no. Yeah. You are just... I, and laugh, because they were all talking about allergies. And the last doctor, I guess it was my primary care doctor. And so, you know, and, and about being all snotted up, including her and the nurse. And... I'm like, but none of us should be in here according to how you pass to get in. Do you have any congestion, throwing up, been around anybody, been out of the state, da 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 da, da. No, and all you do is go, no, 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 no. And it's gotten to the point now where if they're doing a bunch of us, I'll just say, heard it, and no, no, no. And, you know, and I'll point at him and say the same thing, and then, oh, okay. Yep. They, I'm sure they get tired of saying it. Oh, yeah. I'm sure they do. Surely boo-boo. So, all I have to clean today is the bathroom, and I already cleaned part of it. I cleaned the floor in there yesterday. So, that'll be easy-peasy, nice and look, squeezy. Look good. Thank you. I did the bat. I did our bedroom yesterday, and, uh, we just got some trash and stuff picked up. We found all the recycling places finally, too. We found where you can take all your cardboard and your milk jugs and glass bottles and and 
cans and stuff and anyway, you just put it all in there. That's lovely. When we were in Florida, there was no recycling in that whole county, Ocola County. It was really sad. I didn't even see any up in uh, Tallahassee. Tallahassee, I didn't either. Yeah. I mean, maybe we just didn't see it, but, yeah. you know, we would like to do our part in recycling. We sure would. You know, I'll bag all that up and take it once a week. Yeah. So, and it's on the way. Yeah. You know, it's, yeah. Not, it's not out of our way. Yep. So anyway, I'm going to let you guys go so I can get him going, get some coffee going, okay? okay. And we can eat lunch and stuff, you know? Sign up find people. Okay. Well, I'm sure they're all. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, love you guys and do cherish your friendship so very much. And we think you guys are awesome. Say bye, Brad. Bye, Brad. Bye, guys.